Welcome to Storyflix. In this video, we will explain Fashion King. This movie tells the story of a teenage boy who decides to change his style to get his high school crush to notice him. No one thought his changes could bring him into the center of attraction. Will an ordinary student turn charming and be admired by everyone? Let's find out in Fashion King. Fashion King begins with a high school boy getting beat up by his schoolmates one morning. As if still not satisfied, the bullies then told him whose name was Wu Ki Moon to go to the store and buy them breakfast. But before Ki Moon leaves, one of the bullies tells him to crawl over his legs. Ki Moon does as he's told, even though he ends up being watched by passersby, even though some laugh and film his embarrassing act. Then, Ki Moon runs to the nearest convenience store and buys food and drink for the young masters before heading off to school. But when he entered his classroom, he found the bullies had been punished by their teacher in front of the class. The teacher then asks Ki Moon to come to the front of the class, and afterward, he announces to all the students that Ki Moon will be transferring to a school in Seoul. On this day, Ki Moon bids farewell to his classmates. A few days later, Ki Moon and his family move into their new apartment. And when he brought his home things there, he bumped into a girl named Yoon Jin, his new neighbor in the apartment complex. She seems like a friendly girl, and she then greets Ki Moon warmly. But, for some reason, Ki Moon bluntly says that Yoon Jin is ugly. No doubt, hearing his stupid words, his mother immediately reprimanded him. His mother then chats with Yoon Jin. And from their short chat, she finds out that Yoon Jin is the top student at her school. But Ki Moon doesn't care. Without another word, he continued on his way to the apartment. The next day, Ki Moon starts his first day at his new school, and he immediately runs into Yoon Jin in the lobby. But unexpectedly, she invites him to take a photo with her, because his mother asked Yoon Jin to send photo evidence that Ki Moon really did go to school. After school, while Ki Moon is walking down the corridor, he sees a beautiful girl who has stunned him, Park Hai Jin. She is the most popular girl in school, and her beauty can even make students crowd in front of the elevator she is riding in. But no one dares to enter the same elevator as her, except for the transfer student Ki Moon. Meanwhile, outside the school, the girls excitedly welcome the arrival of the school's prince, Kim Won Ho. The crowd screams hysterically even more after his girlfriend, Hai Jin, comes out of the school building and meets him. People do think of them as a perfect couple. As if realizing that he has no chance, Ki Moon walks away. But just as he walked a few steps, he was intercepted by Hai Jin's bodyguard, who accused him of being presumptuous for daring to approach Hai Jin. And for that, Ki Moon must be beaten. Luckily, Won Ho prevents the guard's rudeness. After that, Ki Moon returns home and decides to browse the internet using his laptop. And that's when he found a shopping site that sells trendy clothes. He immediately asked his mother to buy him some clothes without wasting any time. His mother didn't mind. She is even moved because this is the first time Ki Moon has asked her to buy him something. A few days later, he came to school wearing a jacket he had bought from the shopping site, or rather bought by his mother. But that can't prevent him from becoming a target for school thugs. He is pulled over and carried by a delinquent, Chang Ju, to a deserted place, where Chang Ju asks him to hand over his money. But unexpectedly, Chang Ju realizes that he's wearing the same jacket as Ki Moon. They even bought it from the same shop. After discussing their jackets for a while, they realized they were buying imitations. Angry at being cheated on, they decided to go directly to the shop. But the shop looks deserted. There was no one to greet them, even after they had shouted and banged on the door. After a while, a man came and opened the lock of the shop. He is the shop owner, Kim Nam Jong. Ki Moon and Chang Ju then follow Nam Jong in, and there they complain about their jackets turning out to be fakes, before Ki Moon finally asks for his money back. But, instead of complying with their demands, Nam Jong invites the two of them to come with him to the city's bustling center, where many fashion shops line up. It turns out that Nam Jong is a famous figure. Many people laud him as soon as they see him. Impressed by Nam Jong's fame, Ki Moon and Chang Ju ask him to hire them at his shop. They are even willing to do any work, if appointed as his workers. Nam Jong grants their wish. The next day, they start working at Nam Jong's place. There they get some training conduct a photo shoot, and exercise together to shape their bodies to be more ideal, like professional models. A few days later, their school held an event to crown the fashionable students. The students greeted him enthusiastically. They make up for themselves with whatever they think makes them look fashionable. However, when Won Ho and Hai Jin appeared, the whole school was instantly captivated by their appearance. They realized that none of them could match the pair. 
But the attention the duo gets only lasts a moment because next, Ki Mung enters the arena in a unique style. Everyone immediately gathered around him, commenting on the scene before them. Several days had passed since that event. In the middle of cleaning the classroom, Ki Moon gets a message from an unknown number asking him to come to the auditorium. Out of curiosity, he rushed there, but he found no one in the end. Just as he was about to leave, the mysterious figure arrived. It was none other than Hai Jin. She calls Ki Moon there to tell him that tomorrow is her birthday and she wants him to come to celebrate her birthday party. She even gave him her contact number. The next night, Ki Moon comes to Hai Jin's party. At the party, where Ki Moon is the only man invited, he sings her a birthday song before giving her a present. But Ki Moon isn't the only man to give her a present. On the way home after the party was over, Hai Jin met Won Ho, congratulating her and giving her a present. Sometime later, the school held a sports festival and all the students wore tracksuits. Ki Moon and Won Ho are no exception. They even added extra accessories to their uniforms, making them the center of attention. Naturally, they were later called to the teacher's room and punished for daring to hold a fashion show in the middle of a sporting event. After giving them the punishment, the teacher suddenly tells Won Ho that his father called the school and reported that he will be changing schools. Still angry, the teacher then tells Won Ho that if he intends to change schools, he should do it right away instead of causing chaos in the school. Later that night, Won Ho stalks Hai Jin's social media to see who people commented on her posts. And that's when he finds Ki Moon's account. Then he opens it and finds information that Ki Moon works at a shop that sells fake clothes. As if not wanting to waste his chance, the next day Won Ho visits the shop where Ki Moon and Chang Ju work. He confessed that he wanted to shop, even though his real purpose was to insult them for selling fake clothes. He's a huge success because Ki Moon and Chang Ju are furious at his insults. And they get even angrier after Won Ho throws the money on the floor without taking a single thing home. Not long after, when Nam Jong is alone in the shop, he is arrested and taken to the police station on charges of selling counterfeit goods. Upon hearing of their mentor's arrest, Ki Moon and Chang Ju rush to the police station to check it out. But luckily, Nam Jong has only spent a few days at the police station. Once free, he goes straight to Won Ho and invites him to talk on the deserted roof. He knows Won Ho reported him to the police, and Won Ho doesn't deny it either. Nam Jong, of course, is furious at Won Ho's actions because after all he suffered a considerable loss. But Won Ho lightly offers to make up for the loss, no matter how much he has to pay. Feeling his pride trampled on, Nam Jong responds to Won Ho's offer by punching him. But Won Ho's bodyguard doesn't stand still watching his master being beaten. He beat Nam Jong so badly that Nam Jong had to be taken to the hospital. Ki Moon and Chang Ju then visit Nam Jong at the hospital. In front of the unconscious Nam Jong, they vow to take revenge on Won Ho. The next day at school, the first thing Ki Moon does is look for Won Ho. He manages to find him and immediately asks why he attacks Nam Jong. But while they're talking, all the students at school receive a mysterious video on their phones, and so does Ki Moon. The video contained Ki Moon when he was bullied by students at his former school. In an instant, the gazes of everyone around Ki Moon turned to him. Some people looked at him with pity, but not a few who looked at him with disgust. As if finding a golden opportunity, Won Ho's bodyguards then beat up and insult Ki Moon, calling him a loser. The provocation goes smoothly because a moment later, Hai Jin joins in calling Ki Moon a loser. The next day, Ki Moon thinks about transferring to another school. But then, Chang Ju and Nam Jong come to stop him. They argued that he might meet someone else who would expose his old disgrace, even if he changed schools. That's why Ki Moon can't keep running away. After thinking for a moment, Ki Moon senses that there is the truth behind what his two friends say. After that, Ki Moon watches a TV show that reports about Fashion King, the upcoming fashion modeling event. Ki Moon is interested in the event since Won Ho will also be participating. Ki Moon then immediately goes to Nam Jong at his shop to ask him to train him to be a model because he will follow Fashion King. And so began the training session. Apart from fashion, Nam Jong trains Ki Moon by teaching him about bodybuilding. Finally, the day came when the Fashion King was held. Many participants took part in the event, but as usual, Won Ho was again the center of attention. In the first round, the participants' bodies will be measured. Based on the results, they will then be assessed whether they deserve to be a model. Ki Moon can pass this round without any major problems because he has an ideal body. 
Of the hundreds of participants who took part in the first round, only 21 participants passed. In the next round, the participants had to choose a suit that matched and matched their clothes, resulting in a fashionable combination. Without a doubt, one Ho passed this round, considering that he is well versed in fashion. But when it's Ki Moon's turn, he panics because he doesn't know what to choose. After all, he still doesn't really understand fashion. Nam Jong had to give him advice, secretly, of course. But sadly, before Ki Moon can choose, his time is up. So he was forced to choose a suit at random, and coincidentally the suit he chose looked strange and unique. When he came out and appeared before the judges, they were astonished at his appearance. They think Ki Moon has succeeded in bringing out a new fashion feel, a completely unique idea. They all agree that Ki Moon deserves to advance to the next stage. After the event, Ki Moon heads to Nam Jong's shop. But while he was alone waiting for the others, Yoon Jin suddenly came, and with a very different appearance. Unlike the reaction when they first met, now Ki Moon compliments her appearance. Moments later, Chang Ju and Nam Jong arrive, and the four of them celebrate Ki Moon's victory. But while they were toasting, the delegates from the organizers of Fashion King came to bring the dresses to be used in the next round. Meanwhile, Won Ho asks his father for permission to let him participate in a fashion show competition one last time. But his father refuses, as he wants Won Ho to transfer schools as soon as possible. Won Ho, however, is just as adamant. He still plans to compete in the competition until it's finished. On the day of the final round, participants were given the theme of dating. The participants had to ask women out and put on the dresses that were previously given to them. This round's result is that Won Ho and Ki Moon qualify for the final. Only the two of them were the remaining participants. A staff member then explained that in the final round, the theme to be used was the only thing in my life. So, the participants must barter one item that they have. The next day, Ki Moon receives a note from Won Ho, while Won Ho gets a school uniform from Ki Moon. Ki Moon himself has to buy the clothes he must wear for the final round. But because Won Ho's nominal money is very small, he decides to buy second-hand clothes, which he plans to re-sew to look like luxurious clothes. Chang Ju, Yoon Jin, and Nam Jong ended up sewing the clothes for Ki Moon, to the point that they were so exhausted after doing it. While the three of them are asleep, Ki Moon then tries on the clothes and observes his appearance in the mirror. It is at this moment that Yoon Jin wakes up. She then goes to Ki Moon and compliments him on his appearance. Ki Moon responds by thanking her before finally confessing his feelings while hugging her from behind. In the final round, Won Ho was ready to go on stage the next day. However, Ki Moon still hasn't arrived, and even the staff gets worried that Ki Moon doesn't pick up the phone. As it turns out, Ki Moon was snatched as he walked toward the event venue. The thief on the motorbike takes Ki Moon's bag and drives off. But Ki Moon desperately tries to reclaim his bag because he keeps the clothes he's going to wear tonight in the bag. In the end, he managed to reclaim his bag, although to do so, he was dragged quite a distance, which resulted in him getting injured. On the other hand, Won Ho is asked to appear on stage because the committee can't wait forever for Ki Moon. Ki Moon himself still goes to the location, even though his body is now covered in wounds and blood. His body was getting weaker, so that when he arrived at the location, he could only sit outside. He was very tired and in pain. But luckily, not long after, Yoon Jin and a staffer happened to find him. The staff then informs his boss of Ki Moon's arrival, though it's difficult for him to appear on stage because of his injuries. Seeing Ki Moon's severe condition, people crowd around him, as does the cameraman. His mother also finally found him. While crying, she tries her best to persuade Ki Moon to go to the hospital quickly, but he kept refusing. As if realizing Ki Moon's determination, Nam Jong then prepares the clothes at hand before helping Ki Moon put them on. Once everything is ready, Ki Moon limps toward the room where the final event is taking place. At the end of the film, Ki Moon finally confronts Won Ho and returns the money he gave him. It turns out that Ki Moon didn't use the money at all. The MC then asks Won Ho to come back, and he walks away with a look of defeat. Since the winners of Fashion King are determined based on their outfits and how they walk on stage, Ki Moon then goes up the stage and walks across it to the audience's cheers. As he acts on stage, he thinks that he is not a loser now like he used to be. He is the winner of Fashion King. The moral to be learned from this film is, don't give up if you encounter obstacles on your way to achieving your dreams. Hard work will ultimately pay off.